to go over a uh, radical equation showing the work and a couple of the concepts that we've learned. When we look at this, our first rule is to make sure if we have two radicals that they're on the opposite sides so that we don't have a middle term that has a quadratic radical. So these are already set up. This is problem number 44 in 1006, which is a homework problem. So we see that our first step, since they're identified already, is to square both sides. So when we do this, we recognize that that's going to give us And I'm doing every step. And I really appreciate those of you that have been getting the extra points for doing every step as well. When we look at this, we see that uh, we have a perfect square, which is the first one squared twice their product and the last one squared. Since many of you have not uh, understood or memorized that concept, I'm gonna go ahead and foil. So I have minus four times our first one. Actually, the first one is gonna be the radical times the radical. So I have two X minus one. Radical times radical is the radicand is how I like to say that. Then the outer, outer is minus four root, 2x minus 1. And the inner is, of course, the same, minus 4 root 2x minus 1. And the last is 16. And that's going to equal, well, this times this, a negative times negative is positive, radical times radical. It's going to equal x minus 4. As we gather our terms together, we see that we have a minus 1 and a plus 16. So we're gonna combine those. And again, not skipping any steps here so that everybody can follow clearly. I see that I have two X minus eight, two X minus one radical. Minus one and 16 is 15. And that's equal to X minus four. So we recognize that we have a situation where we have another radical. So we're going to want to get that radical isolated. And so to do that, we're going to add the radical to both sides. And that means that we're gonna move this part of the right-hand side over to the other side putting underneath like, like terms, drawing our long line, seeing that we got minus x plus eight, two x minus one plus four, minus x, but yes, both sides are balanced. A lot of you are kind of skipping this long line step to where you can easily see that you're balancing the weight scales, right? You're balancing your weight scales. Whatever you did here, you did here. So as we come straight down with this, we see that we're going to have just a single X and 19. And that's going to equal eight times the radic radical two X minus one. When we look at radical, we say, okay, we're back to the same step that we started with. We have to square both sides and that's exactly what we're going to do. When we square both sides, we see that this side is gonna be X plus 19 times X plus 19. And that's gonna equal, again, not skipping any steps, although you easily should get comfortable with memorizing these simple rules, but not skipping steps to get absolutely full credit. We see that we have this, so this again is gonna be out, the first is gonna be X squared. And 
plus 19x plus 19x. And again, 19 squared is, of course, the days of the year minus the seasons. So plus 361, which is going to equal a radical times itself is 8 times 8, 64 times the radicand 2x minus 1. Now distributing that, we're going to see that we have 128x minus 64. Again, now we have a quadratic. So since we have a quadratic, we know that we have to go and have it set equal to zero. So that means we're moving both of these to the right-hand side. This being 38x. And we're going to add 64. I'm going to add 64. And when we do that, we see that this side is going to be the quadratic x squared. And 38 from 128 makes a nice, easy minus 90x. And these two add together 5, oh, 425. And that, of course, is equal to our zero, which is what we needed. Now, we recognize that our job is to factor. We factor the left-hand side with starting with x. The rule being c is positive, b is negative. They have to both be negatives. And then we take our 425 and we find out what's going to work. And 425 starts ends with a 5, adds up to 6, 11, so there's no 3 in it, and obviously no 2 in it, as 5 is not even. So we take a 5 into it, 5 goes into 48 times, 5 goes into 25, 5 times, ends in a 5 still, that's good, 5 goes into 8 once, 5 goes into 35, 7. Wow, that ended up just being a few factors. Do any of these factors end up giving us a 90? Well, 85 and 5 is 90. 5 times 80, 5 times 17 is 85. And then the other 5 is a 90. So we have the, those, those factors here. <clears throat> so we have 5 minus 5 and so this number is the 85. And checking, of course, that'll give us positive 425 and minus 90. So we're, we're good there. So x minus 5, what makes 0 would be, of course, 5. And if you have trouble with that, remember, all you're doing is go x minus 5 equals 0. Add 5, add 5, right? That's all you're doing. X is 5. That's all you're doing on both these. If you understand that way, then you can just write this kind of stuff down. Now, since we squared, we have to go back to the original problem and try our answers. And if we look at the original problem, and we take 85 in here, so that's 170. So we have 169. 170 minus 169, of course, that's one of our numbers, right? That's 13, and 13 minus 4 is 9, and this, this, this problem is going to give us 85 minus 4 is 81, that's 9, so this side is going to give us minus 9. Notice that this is a positive 13, and this is a negative 9, so 85... 85 does not work. 85 does not work. So even though we got a good solution, it does not work. We have to not use it. So now we come back up to our original problem and try our other number, 5. When I put 5 in here, I got 10 minus 1 is 9. Well, that gives me 3. 3 minus 4 equals negative 1. When I put 3 in here, excuse me, 5 in here, 5 minus 4 
is one, five minus four is one, the square root of one, and of course minus one. Yes, five does work. Now remember the whole situation when you started with the square root, you ended up squaring it, which gives you two answers, right? Because the degree is two. And that's why you have to check your answers when you square something like that. 